Five. St. Louis aldermen are discussing a bill that would eliminate a small South City alleyway right off of South Kings Highway near I-64. This alley is right behind a stretch of vacant buildings that were recently torn down for new developments. Well, the board's decision on this small road could actually drive bigger changes to modernize city streets and boulevards. Our Nathan Vickers is hearing from urban planners about how closing off some streets could actually help all of us. That's right, Corey. We have this nice blank slate out here in this lot where those townhomes were just a few months ago. Now they've been torn down. The developer wants to build new apartments out here, and they also might have some new opportunities in store for this alley that runs right by those properties. A construction fence and fresh grass is all that remains of the dilapidated buildings that long plagued the neighborhood east of Kings Highway. For 40 years, that area has been blight, and it's been uh, an eyesore on the community. Abdul Abdullah runs Park Central Development, which helped lay the groundwork for a new apartment project by North Point in its place. With this community, uh, one of the things that's important is to have good development that provides density. As part of the plan, the city is considering a proposal to vacate a nearby alley, leaving half of it for trash services and the other half for bike and foot traffic only, just a block away from the pedestrian bridge across I-64 into the central west end. This uh, neighborhood was planned to be uh, a car optional neighborhood, so that way it gives people the opportunity to possibly uh, bike or it gives people the opportunity to also walk. Around the city, closing off public streets to traffic can open up new connections for pedestrians. But Catherine Homaker, an urban planner with PGAV, says it's not always that simple. We want to be careful about privatizing our public right of way because you, you can't get it back once you give it away. Closing streets may create traffic issues, but in some cases it can be beneficial. She points to the game day barricades between Ballpark Village and Bush Stadium as an example. Places where streets are already not connected, they don't connect to the broader system, is a place where it might make sense to enhance the pedestrian and bike connectivity possible by eliminating cars. She says that may be the case in this alley, a cut through for cars that may no longer be needed. You know, the Grove is a really compact neighborhood, Forest Park Southeast, so there's, there's a lot of different options when it comes to moving north and south, which is great. Abdullah considers the new development a stark improvement from the eyesores before it. It's a community priority. He hopes the connections that come with it will be, too. This really provides an opportunity to have uh, residents in this place where they are living, where they're working. And North Point is also planning another apartment building just north of here. Between the two sites, they'll have 300 units, new units coming to this neighborhood. Reporting live, Nathan Vickers, First Alert 4. A year's